<clears throat> Powered by Unreal. <laughs> yeah, I think people would take Sunblock a lot more seriously if they had that particular sun on the bottle. <laughs> yeah. Hey. Uh, I'm gonna kill you. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, like the voice of Chris O'Neill. Hello. I'll kill you. Hello, everybody, and welcome to another Internet Remix Let's Play. I'm Darby, joined by Griffin today. Greetings and felicitations, assorted children of the Internet. <laughs> awesome. That's an awesome yes. greeting. Uh, so today we're going to be playing a game called Brothers, A Tale of Two Sons. This game came out in uh, 2013. It was developed by uh, Starbreeze Studios, and I played it uh, for the first time uh, a couple months after it came out. It's an excellent game. It's a shorter one, about the realm of, uh, you know, three hours, and uh, I think you guys are really going to enjoy it. Yeah. Uh, yes. So, anything else uh, you'd like to say before we start this adventure, Griffin? Only that this is one of those games where there's no actual understandable spoken dialogue, but a lot of what's going on is conveyed through emotion. It's very clear what the characters are feeling with uh, the tone of their voice, body language, the the plot is set up well enough through the circumstances of the characters interactions that it's fairly easy to follow what's happening so if you're one of those people who likes very emotionally driven stories I think you're in for a good time with this LP yeah I had forgotten that it was like there was like no dialogue that it was all just visual storytelling yeah, and not to uh, mention that soundtrack. It, it's yeah. gorgeous. Hopefully, we got the. Uh, hopefully, have it with, turned up loud enough to where people can enjoy it. But yeah, we're, uh, uh, the other cool thing about the game is the way it's played. Uh, you have to play it with a controller, and each of the brothers is controlled by a different toggle, and you're controlling both at the same time. So it's an interesting style of play for. It, it it's basically one player co-op. Yeah, it's <laughs> a good way to put it. All right, so let's start this thing. Yes. Right off the bat, you can tell it's a very cinematic game. Mm-hmm. Oh, look at that water. Yeah. <laughs> New game. So it looks like we have a child and a grave. So Looks to be a sort of fishing village setup. Yeah. Nayi! Nayi! Ta! Ata Nayi! Ata! Where's brother and dadders? <coughs> dadders doesn't look like he's doing too well lately. So right off the bat we can tell that I believe the character's name is uh, Nayi, at least if yeah. that early cutscene is any indication. He's got a lot to deal with. Oh no. Little fella. <clears throat> Ugh. And now, and now, Dad's not feeling well. Jeez. Yeah. 
Okay. So i holding the triggers. All right. So each of the characters' action buttons is a different trigger. And, yeah, I have to kind of steer them separately. If I want to let go with Nai, I can just kind of run around. Same with Big Brother. But let's get Dad down the hill. He He's not feeling too well. Now, this is a sort of gameplay mechanic I haven't seen in too many other games, at least not of this type. Yeah. It's kind of like... It reminds me a bit of like first person shooter controls on a console because you got to use, you know, both toggles to get accurate aim, but it's a little bit different. It's I don't know, like with with this puzzle right here, you know, moving with a wheelbarrow where you're using the same uh you're attached to the same object, it feels kind of like snowboarding or wakeboarding. Oh yeah. And like conceptually speaking, uh controlling multiple aspects of the same object or multiple characters in close proximity to one another it seems to be more reserved for things like rage games these days so it's refreshing to see these sorts of things in story driven games for what game for what yeah. games did you say I missed like that. rage games where like you have to control like I, I guess i'm thinking in terms of things like quap where you control oh, like yeah. <laughs> individual aspects of something I didn't know that was the genre they were called Rage Games. Oh, yeah, that just makes sense. games designed to piss you off. All right, so let's... Ugh. All right, Big Brother first, then Nai. There we go. Yeah. Eh. Big Brother, help him. Help your help little bro. Oh, come on. <clears throat> okay, there we go. That's what I wanted. Also, this reminds me of uh, another game that's not quite story-driven, but had something similar called uh, Ibn Ab, uh, where you control two different characters in order to get through various puzzles. Oh, that's awesome. I don't yeah. think I've heard of that one. Oh, yeah. It's a fairly simplistic but enjoyable game. Ibn so, uh, it is very much a two-player required game, I believe. Okay. So, is it, it's, it's not a one-player co-op like this, but it's a two-player? Yeah. Awesome. Like Portal 2, those kinds... <laughs> Yeah. Solve the puzzle together. Yes. Those are good. Hey. At least I think it's called him and Op. I could be mistaken. So we have the uh, town physician, I assume. Yeah. I gotta wonder why. Why does Nai and that family live across this bridge that you have to crank to get? <laughs> why don't well, I just I build a bridge? Well, that's the thing about fishing villages, having <laughs> lived in one for many years myself. Not everything is designed for convenience. <laughs> Help me, Dad. I'll be happy to help if you can get me some Eye of Newt and a few other things from <laughs> That's totally what he's saying. <clears throat> you gotta go to the Tree of Life. Idrisil represent. <laughs> yes. <laughs> uh, shout out to our Norse mythology. <laughs> totally what it is. <laughs> like that's sort of looked like on the map. The big tree coming out of the planet, and we still think <clears throat> it's flat. Yes. And I'm not talking about that James Cameron bullshit either. <laughs> James Cameron explores <coughs> the sea. Oh, God. All right. Let's go help our daddy. That's that this way, big brother. We got. I'll wait for you. There we go. Uh, anything over here? Or probably just blocked off. Yeah. Okay. Hello, fellow. Uh -huh. Oh, what? I wanna. What? Oh, okay. I gotta show him. Oda, when hadi? Doc told me th to go this way. Yeah, come on. Umba. Don't be a jerk. Ugh. It's like the he's like uh, Mido and uh, hey, Nai. Ocarina of Time, just blocking your way, cause he yeah. can. Mafi Isada. Isada. Yeah, after an experience like that, I would imagine that you probably have a bit of an issue going through oh, yeah, yeah. fairly large bodies of water. So that's introduced a mechanic that Nai can't swim, but Big yeah. Brother can. Hmm. Okay, maybe I can. Oh, I gotta hold on to him. Aw, what a good bro. 
Yeah. And, oh, that's cool. And when I'm holding on to Big Brother, I only have to control one toggle. I don't have to, yeah, because Nai is helpless there, so I only have to uh, move my left toggle. Makes mm. controlling a little bit easier. The swimming part. Hmm. Ah, look at that light. You're fine, buddy. Yeah. I mean, when all else fails, add god beams to your art direction. <laughs> god beams. Yeah. Also, don't worry about those like little notifications. They don't show up in the videos. <laughs> okay. I, need, good. I, I forget to turn off like my my friends' notifications when I'm doing a let's play. Yes. You jerk. We're all about professionalism here at Internet Remix. Yes. The community yeah. rock climbing wall. Ah, okay. So we got I beat you, brother. Ha ha. Ooh, okay. Me too. <coughs> Birdies. <laughs> So this village is serving as a fairly uh, efficient tutorial level. Heck yeah. All right, where's that jerk? Mmm, flowers. <laughs> okay, so it's cool. Like, any little things you can interact with, it does like a little kind of cinematic zoom in. Yeah. It feels and, like uh, something's going to happen, but they're like, no, you can let go at any time. Yeah, and this points out right off the bat that there are going to be various objects you can interact with uh, in the world as you explore it. I forgot that they give you a dynamic camera. That's cool. Yeah. Okay. Well, I imagine this sort of game, it becomes imperative after a point. Yeah. Can you, can you do anything? No, oh, we're just going to take in the sights. Yeah. Look at this pretty architecture. It is a rather scenic view. Yeah. It's like the game developers, like, we're going to give you the option of, you know, looking at the thing that we made for you. We're giving you your money's worth. Yeah. All right. Let's, uh, yeah, there we go. Let's get on the drums. Yeah. Well. I probably broke a pot. Sorry. <laughs> Sorry, town. Nope. Okay. Just going to have to climb. Oh. Oh. I tried to jump up like the rock climbing wall. It's not the same mechanic. Mm. So there's climbing and then there's jumping, and they don't operate the same. Yeah. Ooh. Uh. 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 Down. Uh. I mean, if nothing else is going to prepare you for a grand journey in a game, it's <laughs> roof hopping around your town. It's parkouring your way through various, you know, regions in your town. You can't get through, but I can. Not, not exactly sure who the city planner was, but... Uh, <laughs> yeah. Something tells me they uh, either didn't have enough time to think things fully through, or just had an interesting sense of humor. Yeah. And now I'm suddenly... Now Big Brother's suddenly over here. Where is... <laughs> That's what you get. Yes. <laughs> well, <laughs> yep. I mean, I guess we're just leaving him to die. <laughs> it's just a puppy. <laughs> it's not gonna hurt him. How you say that, but puppies very capable guard dogs out there get recruited oh, at a young age true like that dog was in a cage maybe he will bite it oh kitty time all right all right oh more scenery ah let's take a break we were just climbing on houses well our house is all the way back there that was a hmm. That was a nice little distance. Yes. And let me rotate my camera. Remember, I can do that. Oh, God. Okay, there we go. <laughs> hey, hey, can you let ooh, us over? Ooh, yeah, you'll let, let the bridge down. Oh, come on. Yes. Uh, hey, how about I climb this? No? Okay. Mm. 
So it seems like we're going to need to either give this guy something to convince him to lower the bridge, or otherwise distract him. <laughs> okay. <Well. laughs> Guess that works. Come on, come get me. Chase me. Ah. Well, that didn't work. I yeah. thought it would make him leave. <laughs> we we need to go to Yggdrasil. Thank you. And they're taking us seriously after we dump water on you. Oh. Ah, get out of here, kids. I mean, you're fairly able to do your job after a cold shower. <laughs> yeah. I'm awake. Fine. Yes. That's got to be, eh, I guess, either a relaxing or a boring job. Just sitting there yeah. staring at the bridge all day. But you know what? That's work sometimes, and it's a job that needs to get done. Yeah. Oh, hello. Can we come in? Uh, there's no one there. <laughs> this looks like it hasn't been kept up as well. As also, can I just point there. out that this is an interesting choice with the art direction. Having it look to be maybe late spring, early autumn with some of the leaves turning, it, it definitely sets the mood for yeah, the direness. Situation. Situation. Lots of brown grass. <laughs> that way. Okay. Back in my day, we had Pac-Man, and we were just fine with it. We had, we had a yellow circle who ate dots and chased <laughs> ghosts. Woo. If we were lucky, we got a cherry. Ooh, they were worth one hundred points, or three hundred. I don't know. <laughs> I mean, it Batman. mainly has been a while for me too. <laughs> Games were all about points back then. There was no speed running. It was how many points you could rack up. Oh boy. Hello. I'm gonna pat you on the butt, sir. <laughs> I don't want butt pats. Go away. <laughs> Not well the missus is around anyway. <laughs> All right. Ooh, he looks like he's playing the harp. Awesome. Hmm. I probably missed him last time I played this. Huh? Hello. I want to play too. <laughs> Yay! Uh. <laughs> this is how you harp. Uh. Yes. <laughs> Yay! How to basic? Can I do Harpage. it too? <laughs> <laughs> ah! <laughs> Big Brother is <laughs> very good at it. I mean. Uh. It's like, ah, whatever. Uh, <laughs> Everyone's got their strength somewhere. Little bro's the artful one. I can swim. Yes. <laughs> and I got the map. So. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Hello, drunk man. Yeah, I don't care. Get out of here. I'm just whittling my day away. Classy. <clears throat> oh, look at this. Mm. Pretty. And again, like, the falling leaves and the turning to autumn colors definitely sets yeah. the mood. Ah! Well. Angry dog. Okay. Yeah. Ah, okay. I see this. This way. This way, buddy. <laughs> <laughs> hey, dog, dog. Dog, go. All right. Neat. Puzzle. Yes. Thank God for all these convenient hay barrels. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Just conveniently placed. Yes. <laughs> there we go. Yeah. Thank God farm dogs can't jump. Yeah, <laughs> that's a bonus. Oh, farm dog, you've been slacking off. Eating too much butter from the butter churn. <laughs> sure, why not? I don't know. 
Also, oh. thank God those clearly dead roots were supportive enough to allow those two to climb up. <laughs> True. Sticking out of sheer rock face. <laughs> hmm. Doggo. Oh, this is going to be awkward. I, I have them in the, in the opposite direction. Oh, joy. Okay. I'll just do it one at a time. Yeah. <laughs> there we go. Hmm. Yum, 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 yum. Now I want to eat some butter. <laughs> I, <don't... laughs> I mean, that oh. sounds like a personal problem. <laughs> Let me sugar up some butter. <clears throat> Oh, buy, buy someone's bird. I guess. <laughs> or scenery. Interesting combination of wildlife here. Between the, the dogs, the sheep, and the tropical birds. Yeah, I mean, I guess anywhere there's humans, is, it makes it. We bring we bring different kinds of am animals with us. We're kind of fucked up that way. Yep. Looks like the giant hamster is on break, though. <laughs> yeah. Ah, I'll just put a little boy in there. I'll do it. All right, sheepies. <laughs> I'll just take one. Because yes. there's, like, no security in this town. I guess not. <laughs> Might as well go full Looney Tunes with this. Don't you remember the days when you could leave your doors unlocked? Yeah, and people would take your sheep. Yep. All right. God, I'm just getting flashbacks to those cartoons where, like, the... The wolf and the sheepdog would like check in. Yes. Like, <laughs> Morning, Frank. Morning, Ralph. Morning, yeah, exactly. <laughs> All right, where are we going with this? Yes. Uh, well, I'll talk to this guy first. Hello. <laughs> hmm. uh, <laughs> he's a jerk. <laughs> he's just kicking out his hay. God. Um. Insert I... Dennis the Menace joke here. I know, right? You're being a menace, Dennis. Mm. Alright, is there... Am I even taking this sheep somewhere important? Oh, there's bunnies. Like, I just grabbed a sheep. I don't know what I'm doing with it. I'm just going to set it down. Yeah. I'm sure it's part of some achievement that doesn't really... Isn't really required. Mm. Hey, bun buns. No, I mean... While we're here, we might as well have fun with the game. Yeah. I got one. It's funny. Again, I'm just getting Mario 64 flashbacks. <laughs> yeah, catch the bunny. They're, these are much easier to catch. Yes. Especially when they're clearly labeled. <laughs> I got the bun bun. I know there's an achievement for this to like make him like go in a row or something, but I don't I don't know how to Oh look, that's probably it. <clears throat> Gimme. Give Gimme. Give I think you gotta wait till they, till the these four like settle down, yeah, or something. Guys, guys. Ah oh, well, <laughs> it's not, it's not consequential. Yeah, I'm gonna leave you two sheep. How are we doing on time, by the way? Oh, uh, this is yeah. This is probably a good place to. Uh, in the episode we're about 24 minutes in yeah so uh we will see you guys next time for episode two of brothers a tale of two sons with more neighborhood antics and possibly a bit more plot yeah all right later have a good one everyone